Hi, this is Andrea Shulman from Raise Your Vibration Today. And a few weeks ago, a YouTube subscriber of mine asked if I would create a law of attraction video on how to deal with procrastination. And I've actually gotten this question a few times within the last year, so I think it's a relevant one. Now, the first thing I wanna tell you about procrastination is if you're a procrastinator, that's okay. Procrastinating is actually a really good thing. Now, a lot of times we think it's a bad thing, but here's why it's a really good thing. If you find yourself not doing something because you don't wanna do it, that's really good. Because the only time we get quality work done is when we're in alignment and we actually feel driven to do the thing that we wanna do. Our highest work comes when we're in a state of flow, when we're very focused and we're allowing our creation with whatever task it is to flow seamlessly through us. So if there's something that you need to do, like study or pay your bills or pay your taxes, and you don't wanna do it, there's really no sense in doing it. Because if you try to do it during those periods of time, you're not going to be working in the flow. It's gonna take you a lot longer to accomplish the task. You're probably going to encounter lots of obstacles and your work, the quality of your work, isn't going to be its best. So if there's something that you need to do, but you don't really wanna do it, so like pay your bills, pay your taxes, study for a test, whatever the case may be, you really have two options. Option one is an option that many procrastinators choose, which is just to wait until it absolutely has to be done. Because if it absolutely has to be done, you're going to feel very focused, you're gonna feel very driven to get it done because there's that motivator, because you believe it has to be accomplished by a certain date and time. So that's always an option. And a lot of procrastinators do that, and that's perfectly fine. The other option, and this is one that you can always add if you're already using that first option, is to ask the universe for a sign to let you know when it's a good time to do the thing that you wanna do. So if there's something I need to do, like pay my taxes, instead of just waiting until the 11th hour, as soon as I know that it's coming up and I wanna get it done, I'll just ask, hey, let me know when there's a good time for me to get this done. And then I just move about my day, knowing that if I have to, if I end up waiting till the 11th hour, that's okay. But what almost always happens is I'll get a thought at some point that tells me that, oh, you know what? You've got a few hours to kill. Why don't you sit down and do your taxes now? When you get that intuition, that intuition, that reminder is usually a very good indication that you're at a good place at a good time to sit down and do whatever task that it is. So the next time you have a test coming up or the next time you have something coming up that you don't necessarily wanna do, remind yourself, it's okay to be a procrastinator. Procrastinating means that I'm just not doing it when I'm not in flow and that's okay. So I have an option to wait till the 11th hour. That's nice to know, because I know if I wait till the 11th hour, it'll get done. But right now I'm gonna take some time and ask to be reminded when it's a good time to get it done. And when I get that intuition, I'm gonna take it.